Hey everybody, have you ever wanted to just add some pizzazz to your web page or your funnel and you would love to use these beautiful custom fonts, but then you'd think, how in the world am I going to use it? It all seems so complicated, but yet you search Google fonts and nothing is quite you know, it's not very exciting. We'll follow along and I'm going to show you a really cool hack on how you can upload these custom fonts and it's super easy. And guess what? You might not think that you're a programmer or anything like that. I know I'm not, but we are going to use some very simple CSS code and it is an easy way to add something special to your website. So uh, let me share my screen. And as always, if we haven't met, I'm Debbie Starr and I help people uh, create systems around their business so that you're not fighting with technology all the time. And in today's uh, episode, what I'm going to be showing you is my favorite all in one software, which is uh, go high level or high level, however you want to say it. So let me just hop over here. So this is a web page that I'm building out. And so here is this uh, sentence up here. All right, and I just want something a little special. I don't like any of the Google fonts. What am I going to do? Let me, I'm gonna show you kind of the end result and then I'm gonna walk you through how you can do this, okay? So uh, let me just type in, I am typing in the name of this custom font. I'm just typing it in over here on the left under custom class, look at that. I mean, is that beautiful or what? So how did I do this? All right, I'm gonna take this out. Let me just save this page real quick and let me come back and let me just come back here, hide this for a second. So basically there's three steps. It might seem complicated, but I have it written out in this beautiful little document. First thing we have to do is we have to convert our uh, font file. Normally it's an OTF, I think, because uh, I'm not a font person. Yeah, OTF file. We have to convert it to what's called a Wolf two, simple to do, a free site that will convert that. So that's step one. Step two is we have to upload this newly converted font file someplace that we can call it to dump it into our uh, website or our funnel. Well, we're going to use a quick little hack just using the course area or the membership area of high level. And then it's right there. Everything's nice and tidy and it just makes it super easy. Once we get that uploaded, we're going to grab that address of where that font lives and we're going to drop it into the CSS code. Don't let that scare you. Super easy to do. All right. And then easy peasy. You just type the name of the font wherever you want it and it loads it in. So let's uh, hop back over. First of all, let me just show you. I've got this little document. If you want this document that tells you step by step how to do it, just comment below and I'll send it over to you. So the first thing that we have to do, remember I said, is we have to switch this file um, and switch it into this wolf2. OK, and I'm saying OLF and I think it's OTF file, a uh, little typo there. OK, and the site that I'm using is Cloud Convert. It's a free site. And let me tell you something. Oh, my goodness. This converts all kinds of things. Uh, so if I click on the what to convert from, look at all these different things that can convert from. Well, we're going to convert fonts. And what do we want? We want to convert an OTF file to the Wolf2 file. Now, I've already done it. Um, but again, the file that you have that you purchased, the OTF, we just upload it. And then we tell it to convert. And literally, like in three seconds, it converts it. And then we just download it. It's that simple. OK? So that is step one. Let me come back over here to the document. So we have converted this file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to upload this newly converted Wolf2 file into the membership area or the course area. So I'm going to come back over here to Go High Level, and I actually already have it opened up. If you're new to uh, Go High Level, over here to the left, you'll click on Memberships, and then up here at the top, Courses, Products. I just have to tell you, I don't know why they call it products. In this area, it means a course. All right, that's all you need to remember. I've already created a simple little course. I've just called it custom fonts. <laughs> Excuse me, I could feel that coming and I couldn't stop it. So here's my course and, you know, my first little quote unquote lesson. Don't worry about how this looks. We are just making a place to save these files. And I just wrote myself a little note. Use this to house your custom fonts. And all you have to do is down here, click to add the files. OK, <coughs> excuse me. So now notice I have all my little Wolf 2 files that uh, my custom fonts that I'm going to be using. Once we do that, uh, then make sure that you click the Save button. 
and then go to preview. And what we want, we're going to scroll down. You're going to see this big black area. Scroll down. We want to find these custom fonts. And if you right mouse click and save that link address. Okay, because remember what I said, we just need to put our font someplace that our custom code can find it. And so here it is, we're going to save that address. All right, are you still with me? Okay, let's go back to this document. So now we've uploaded our file to this membership area and we've saved that full URL because now we're going to use it, okay? Now, if you're like me, I am not a programmer, I'm gonna make this even bigger, uh, but it's super easy. All you need to do is you can copy all of this, put it in just a plain document, and every place that it's blue, you are going to change whatever your font name is. Now, remember the one font that I uploaded was uh, OGG, okay? I, I'm not gonna change it here, but just whatever that font name is, you would type it right in here, and I've made it in blue. And then remember I said to save that URL address, that address you're going to paste right in here. And there's a single quote before and after the URL address, all right? So that's all you have to do. You're just pasting that URL address into this font, this CSS font code, okay? I know you can do this. Don't be nervous about it. Then all we're going to do is we're going to copy this, and now the next step is we're going to upload the CSS code. So let me hop back over here. And this is the web page that I want to use that code on. So up here at the top, if you just hover over, you're going to see it looks like a little paintbrush, custom CSS. Click on that. And you are just going to paste in that code. That's all you have to do. Don't worry about it. Just paste it in. You can't break anything. Don't worry about that. Just paste it in. Click Save. Easy peasy. Are you still with me? I know you can do it. Let me come back to the instruction document. Then what do you do? How do you get that code to come into your document? Uh, what we're going to do is we select our font element and we just type that CSS label. What do I mean by that? Notice right here, we don't have to worry about the period, but this particular font, the label, is called Printed Moments. That's the font that I want to use, all right? We're going to type that into the custom class. So let me come back over here. And let's say right here, this headline, Tired of Struggling on Your Own. So I have that headline selected. Okay, I've got the little orange box around it. If I come over here to the right and click on Advanced, and then scroll down kind of near the bottom. See where it says custom class? I am going to type in whatever custom class I had added. And what did I call it? It was printed moments, no space or anything. All right. So I'm just going to say printed moments, press enter, and ta-da, there it is. How simple is that? Now, I must say I need to, sorry, I can't help it. I just have to add some uh, padding here because this looks awful running into things. So I'm just going to add some padding there. Okay. How easy is that? So let's do a quick little recap. I'm going to save this before I forget. Publish it. And let me just come back to this document for a minute. Okay. So what we did was we uploaded that CSS code. And then when we want to call it out, when we click on that element, that um, uh, type element, we just type in the name of whatever that font is. So when I upload those other CSS codes, the one called OGG, if I wanted to use that font, I would just type OGG and it would uh, take it. Okay, let me come back here for a second and talk to you eyeball to eyeball. Now see, wasn't difficult at all, right? So let's recap. You have to convert your font file. Okay, it needs to be that wolf too and gave you a free resource to do that. Then we download it. Then we need to put it in its new home. And its new home, we just created a simple course. And the only reason we do that is so we can upload that file and point to that URL. Once we get that, we take this little, little snippet of custom code, CSS. Don't you feel like a pro when you say, yes, I added some CSS to my website, okay? Then you just put in that new URL address and then the little label of whatever that font name is. You know, if I'm going to start using the OGG font, then I just change that. Okay. Once that code has, you know, been modified, then we upload that code inside of our funnel page. And then we can just go down to that little selector and type that label and boom, it's right there.
I knew you could do this. Isn't this exciting? And let me just hop back over here for a quick second. If you like this kind of assistance, this kind of help, you should join my Digital Business Academy. I have the link here. It's only 47 bucks a month. And guess what? Not only do you get live support from me, so you no longer have to struggle on your own. Every month, I run special workshops. I have templates. If you're under my Go High Level affiliate, I have all kinds of what they call snapshots. So you can hit the ground running with your funnels and websites. Training, you name it. So what are you waiting for? Why don't you join me in the Digital Business Academy? And if you're tired of messing around with all this stuff, you know that you have something that will bring awesome results to your people. Uh, let's get on the phone and chat about it and let me help you map out what I call your 10K revenue strategy. What that means is we will uh, map out your offer, your signature offer, build the back end pieces so that you can hit the ground running. All right. So as always, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments, is there anything particular that you've been struggling with that you would like to learn how to do? Again, go high level. I'm an affiliate, but if you want to take it for a test drive, it makes your life so much easier because you can simplify your business by using this powerful marketing tool. Thanks again for watching. Hit the subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.